Um, just headed out uh, back to Regina. I've been in Yorkton for a little while. Uh, while I was there, the draw results came out and I got drawn for a meal deer in my home zone in Regina there. So I'll be headed out after some meal deer. And I spend a lot of time between October and April out and about in the field there. So I got a pretty good idea where to look. I already have a bunch of permission and I'll just be doing a little bit more scouting, see if I can uh, find the right buck for me and hopefully get on them September 1st or 2nd, try and get one in velvet. Uh, I've always wanted to do that and never really had an opportunity. So we'll see, maybe this year is a year. You know, I never used to do so much scouting but man, is this fun. If this doesn't get you excited for hunting season, I don't know what does. It never took long and I had three target bucks spotted. One was a giant. That's bigger. Fucking, he's a big guy, holy shit. So I'm out looking for mule deer, and funny thing is, I already uh, talked to the landowner about having uh, permission to hunt on his land out here, and he was glad to let me and he's out spraying tonight and I was out sitting for the past probably two hours watching six deer that were bedded in the back of one of his fields and as he got out with his sprayer he actually went and was telling me that there's another couple bucks over the hill two of the three big ones that are out here so it's kind of nice of him to do that and it goes to show why landowner uh, hunter relations are very important to have he, he's okay with me being out here I'm basically watching his land, so I mean it helps him out, helps me out, he knows I'm out here, he knows who I am, and and uh, it, it also helps me keep tabs on the deer because it's another set of eyes looking for me, so it's good to have, so make sure if you guys are out there, build a positive uh, landowner hunter relationship, and hopefully it's easier and easier for us to get permission in the future. first day of season was here and I was embarking on my first attempt at harvesting one of my target bucks. Shortly after I spotted the first few bucks of the day, I had also spotted three other hunters on the quarter of land that I had permission to hunt on. They spooked away the deer and threw a wrench in my plans for that morning. Not long after, I had what seemed like the perfect opportunity with my two target bucks, but with the winds being as high as they were, I simply couldn't get close enough to make an ethical shot. Well, it's September 17th. I'm looking for mule deer still. I've been busy working, farming and stuff. And I just got the weekend off because it was raining. So I figured I'd uh, head back home here and go mule deer hunting. And I checked out my spot where the big guys have been. They're gone. It is September 18th. And this morning I was a little bit late getting out. But I did manage to see all the mule deer bucks I've been looking for. I've had a tough go at finding them. Uh, usually they're not anywhere close to where they have been. 
it's just been a tough go with them since the start of archery season where between myself hunting them, somebody else with an antlerless tag out there, and one other guy hunting them, they, they got pushed around quite a bit and they, they, they got smart. I gotta apologize to everyone. My job is to get everything on camera. Tonight I was glassing where I seen the box this morning. The big guy that I've been after came up out of the valley and was standing there. I had one opportunity to get him. I didn't have a cameraman with me. I'm doing this all alone. Boys, I think I put one in the boiler room. Oh, I spotted him. There he is, guys. He was quartering away. And with the opposite shoulder. That rage did him. I knew from the moment I spotted this deer that he was at the top of my list. To harvest him with a bow is everything I could have dreamed of. I am so grateful for this buck. It is November 3rd today and I just drove from where I work down in Glentworth over to uh, kind of the very southwest corner of the province and I'm um, just out scouting for mule deer. My sister was drawn in this zone so just seeing what I could find. Um, the hope is that sometime here uh, my whole family is going to come down, my parents and my sister and we're gonna try get my sister killing a nice mule deer on video so she's she's gotten one before but nothing nothing too big but this can be the year she's gonna find one bigger than i got so vicky we're not gonna go after those ones are we no how come they're too small you know we gotta find one smaller than mine Shortly in the first day, Vicky had her first opportunity of the hunt at a Saskatchewan mule deer. Crouch, crouch. Whoa. We'll probably need to be 10 yards from there. Side. He still got his ass to us. There, he just turned to the right. He's running to the right. Running up the hill away from the stop. Right there, broadside. Up on top of the hill. Straight facing us now. down until we spotted this giant Saskatchewan mule deer.
Hey Vicky. What? Next time, don't shoot at the deer at the bottom of the hill. Shoot at the top. A little bit closer to the truck that way. Okay, good idea. Thank you. Vicky, how many mule deer is this for you now? I don't know, two, three? Your second one, I think. Second? Pretty good for a second mule deer. <laughs>